morning friends it's gonna be another wonderful day on the PCT we got a, a short day in terms of mileage I don't know how hard it's gonna be though um, it's just the way that the trails fall in this section if we work really really hard then we would be able to take out a day or we can have a good time and like I said we are on the luxury PCT cruise this time so we're gonna have an easy day under 15 for sure well Stay tuned, we'll find out if it is. There wasn't supposed to be any rain, so uh, feeling pretty good about that. So of course at 5.30 this morning it starts raining. <laughs> but it looks like it's gonna clear up a little bit. We'll have some partly cloudy days. I know you need the weather report for where you're at on your couch, but it just kind of affects our mindset as we go through the day here. And it is supposed to have a good chance of rain this afternoon, but very few inches, so. I'm feeling pretty good again. The weather has been very accommodating to us so far this trip. All right, gonna finish getting packed up here and get on our way. Just a quick mid-experiment report on the breakfast where I've added the ghee to it. Same thing again today, but I also added some uh, freeze-dried berries to it. Ah, it's delicious. But yesterday, the energy level held till lunch. I was pretty, pretty pleased. We'll see if that keeps happening. We're starting off today with a Nice little five mile decline. We're gonna be descending down to a river. And I'm not sure what's after that, except I'm pretty sure it's up. Under the heading of things you think about in the woods that you'd never think about at home. This morning, there was an extremely high correlation. I don't know about causality, but it's definitely a correlation between the little rounds of sprinkles that we got and the big jets flying over you know if I'd hear a big jet within a few seconds it would start to sprinkle and it would sprinkle till the jet sound was definitely fading away and it's not like I observed this once I observed it seven or eight times three of them right in a row it was kind of interesting because they would I could hear the jet come and go then another jet come and go then another jet come and go each time the rain came and went Came and went, came and went. So the question is, okay, do, do jets cause the rain in the forest? Deep research project, we're gonna get some grad students out at the uh, University of Washington on that starting this fall. So, you know, apply now if you're a student there and you'd like to do graduate studies in this area. Top Rock is certainly off to the races this morning. Part of it's because it's cold. It, there was no wind where we were at camp, so it felt pretty good. But it's a lot cooler than expected when he started walking. He felt the wind. And he buried his gloves, so his hands are cold. So for one reason he's going fast is for his hands. But the other is, I think, the back of his mind, he knows that today was a pretty leisurely day, and tomorrow has a pretty tough day. I think he's thinking if he goes fast enough, far enough, Maybe we'll get in some extra miles today, and we can maybe make tomorrow a little easier. You know, it'll be a, a dry camp. We'll have to carry water some distance, but he's got maybe a four-mile pace going right now. Put it this way. It's early morning. I'm going downhill on an easy trail, and I'm starting to sweat. That's how fast we're going. See you up the trail. Then there's the uh, the rock tread section. That sort of puts an end to that four mile an hour. He's still doing pretty good, probably on two and a half. The water here is super clear. It's very tasty. Sure do love these bridges when they happen.
Hey friends, short day today, we're done. Uh, we've gotten to Deep Lake, which is very beautiful. I think the last couple photos had that. Top Rock, any comments on the day? It rained. <laughs> that was the big difference. You, you can't really call it rain if the dirt doesn't even actually get wet. Get wet. <laughs> but it did sprinkle a bunch. It was really kind of funny because it started sprinkling as soon as it said, Yep, no more rain. It's not going to rain. Well, that's when the sprinkling started. So, we still got some clouds up there, but I think uh, I think there's not going to be much precipitation. Anyway, I think that's it for today. So we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Your legs acting up. Oh yeah, I should probably tell you my my shin has you know i'm not sure whether it's suffering the damage from that high speed descent we did earlier today or whether uh something else going on but anyway it uh, it hurt pretty bad this afternoon trying to come up the hill so that made it hard hopefully a good night's sleep though and it'll be fine tomorrow that's the goal i gotta get a jacket on it's getting windy and cold out here